right. So you haven't had your, your nose inside a church? On occasions, when I have to. Right. It was actually forced on me when right. I was younger, and I took offence to that and said... Right, Are your mum and dad both Catholic? Yes. Mm -hmm. I think that's why he's quite a strong Catholic. Yes, he's devout. Uh, which, which doesn't help matters as far as the relationship, and I think a thorn between us, myself and my fiancé, it's always causing hassle and grief uh, and upsetting both of us. We end up having a go saying he's doing this and he's doing that, and I say, well, I love you and I love him, but I don't like him. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. No, I know exactly what you mean. You can love someone but not like them. But he's just too much sometimes. A lot you know, of people love Scotty McClure but don't like him. I'm caught between a rock and a hard place if you like. Well, you are a little bit. Now, the only thing is, you're 30 years of age. Yeah, I'm a big so boy. I'm ugly enough and You're very much big a big enough. boy, yes. You're ugly enough and big enough and you're probably very good looking. And uh, your fiancé, what age is she? She's the same. Right, and you've lived together for five years. Yeah. You know each other very well. Uh, do you love her? I do. I love absolutely her, adore her. I'd I, I die for do her. Do you worship the ground she walks on? Yes. Right. Yes. Does she love you? I think so. Does she absolutely she adore so. you? Right. Yeah, I hope so. Now, yeah. what was this silly falling out over then? Forget your yeah. father at the moment. I uh, took my father and my brother to do a message and get stuff sorted for the wedding as right. far as suits go. Right. Now, I was late getting back, unfortunately, and I'd, I'd phoned and said I was on my way, and technically I was sidetracked somewhere else beforehand. Of course. I never explained myself very well, and I should have done a wee bit better, I suppose, but it uh, caused her to get upset and worry about me, thinking maybe something's happened. Right. So I came home, and she went off on one. So next thing we're at, throws with each other, shouting, bus screaming throwing things off the wall, you name it, it was happening. And okay. I just thought, right, go just now. I'm just sitting in the car. That's fine. In the middle of nowhere. That's okay. So I get my thoughts together and yes. I thought, right, I'll phone Scotty. No bother, you're more than well. He's got a head on his shoulders that might be able to give me well, a bit of two heads are better than one. They say a problem shared's a problem halved. If you tell the wrong yeah. person, it's a problem doubled. I know. Now, the thing is, what we're talking about here, Kenny, is you've yep. got six weeks to go till you get married. Yeah. It's quite a big step. The two of you have left it you know, till you're 30 years old. Yeah. Uh, it's quite a big step, but you know each other well, you've been together for five years. Have you had these sort of tantrums before from her? Okay, we're always, uh, the Barneys are always good ones, you know what I mean? A wee, a, of a, one. a wee bit of a Barney, right. I mean, all couples usually have rows now and again. Well, if you don't but have a row, there's something wrong. As long as the making up is just as much fun. Yes, well, very now, much so. what I think here is that she's getting a little bit anxious over the wedding because it's nevertheless still a big day yes i mean I, everything everything's 